Uh, February is Black History Month. Students, though, are now learning meaningful lessons about a key part of civil rights history year-round. As Paula Evans shows us tonight in the Ion Education, it's all thanks to a North Shore video game developer. For this history lesson, no books are required, just iPads and laptops. The most important thing that a product like this can do is make that history relevant and current rather than something that seems like it happened a long time ago, so why should I care so much about it? Students at the River Valley Charter School in Newburyport are traveling back in time to the 1800s to learn about the Underground Railroad. I suppose she gave you a little something to help on your journey. I thought it was a rail railroad at first, but then I found out that it was actually just a code name for freedom. In this online educational experience, the students take on the role of a slave trying to escape from the South. Never knew that people had to go through something this bad. I think it like helps because then you actually get to experience a little bit more. It's something that's so much a part of our history and it plays so much into what's going on now running huh the students you must make life or death decisions to secure their freedom traveling from safe house to safe house and meeting historical figures like harriet tubman and frederick Douglass along the way i believe in equality for all men and women um, there was always threat of being caught there was always threat of starvation muzzy lane software of newburyport teamed up with national geographic for the project it's now available free online so when you're talking about building empathy for uh, a time period that took place hundreds of years ago, um, putting the students actually in the role and, and giving them dynamic choices I think is a, a, a very effective tool. And look for more online role-playing experiences from Muzzy Lane. They tell me they're working on a game that takes children to Congress and a virtual year abroad in Spain to learn the language. If you think you have a story that should be featured in our Ion Education series, let us know about it. Email us at ioneducation at cbs.com or send me a tweet at Paula Evan WBC. David and Lisa. What a